Hi, it's Summer of the Math. Easy solution to discuss further into integration of rational functions by partial fractions and go over example three of the example series and basically solve this example which states find integral of uh, dx divided by x squared minus a squared where basically a is not equal to zero. So in this case, yeah, this is just a rational function. Uh, we could break down this using partial fractions. And uh, first step to do is first notice that uh, these, these are, uh, yeah, these are a difference of squares. So like I showed my earlier video on difference of squares, you could factor it out to make it such that you have, well, dx, I shall just write it by itself, uh, one over x squared minus a squared. This just equals two. Well, it's gonna be x minus a times by x plus a. So if you were to uh, expand these out, you get basically x squared minus, well, it's gonna have it as plus ax, and then a minus ax when you multiply this by this, and then eventually a squared, and these just cancel. So now that we have that, I'll just erase it, get out of the way. And now using the partial fraction decomposition method, let's write this like that. This is gonna be, well, coefficient a over x minus a plus now b over x plus a right here. And now that we have this, we just have to solve for these uh, coefficients. So I'll we'll multiply both sides of here by uh, x minus a times x plus a. So we get, well, one equals two a x plus a and then plus b x minus a because this x plus a cancels with this and then this x minus a cancels with this here. So that we have this. So now all we have to do is solve these coefficients. Now, uh, like I showed in my earlier video, one method is just to uh, assign values for x. In this case, let's let x equals a so that this cancels right here. So we're left with one equals two a. Now it's gonna be, well, times it by two a. So we just solve this, a equals to one over two a. And now at x equals two, well, negative a, so that this cancels, we are left with now one equals two, well, b, now you have a negative two a right here. So b is equal to negative one over two a. Yeah, so now we have the two coefficients. Now we just solve this integral, and plug it back to, into the integral, so we get d of x over x squared minus a squared is equal to integral of now, one over two a, and now this is, yeah, one over two a of one over x minus a, plus, uh, it's gonna be minus now, minus one over two a, yeah, times it by one over x uh, plus a. This is all dx right here. And now we could basically uh, just solve this integral now. So we could take the one over two a out of there. Now this equals two, well, and uh, this is the integral of one over x minus a. That's just ln of x, absolute value of x minus a. And now we subtract here ln of absolute value of x plus a. And then we add a constant c at the end right here. And now if we were to use natural log rules, what we could do, this equals two. I'll put these all together. Uh, integral of dx over x squared minus a squared is equal to one over two a, now when we apply natural log rules, this is a division. Uh, so when you subtract, it's, just, it's the same thing as doing x minus a, and then you can put these in together, x plus a, not even plus c. So this formula right here, this is uh, sometimes very useful. So I'll just write useful uh, formula here, because this can help solve uh, different cases whenever you have a yeah, a polynomial where you can complete the square to get something like this, x squared minus a squared. So for example, if we had, let's say, the integral of dx over x squared minus 2x, so what we could do here, yeah, instead of uh, using partial fraction decomposition, we could use this formula. So first of all, let's break this down. This could be written as well, uh, because we know that, let's say, x minus 1 squared, this just equals to, well, x squared minus 2x, and then there's gonna be, well, a plus one. So if we use this square here, and because there's a, it's gonna look exactly like this. So what we'll have is integral dx over x uh, minus one squared. 
and there's a plus one, so we have to just subtract by one. So now this is our new a, and our x is going to be, well, this is going to be our x, is x minus one. So this just equals two, one over two times a, which is one, and then ln of now x, uh, x minus one, and then minus a, which is one. So then divide this by and this, uh, x minus one, which is our new x. So let's write, this is our new x right here, and then we just add one right here. So what we get overall, and also plus c. So this equals two, one over two, ln x minus two over, well, x plus c. So yeah, this formula can be used sometimes to uh, quickly solve uh, integrals such as this without having to go and use uh, partial fraction decomposition again for this to get the exact same answer here. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, quick video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.